F is a vector of 27 pounds at 20 degrees right of vertical, and X at B is minus 2, 3. I want to know what the moment is at A, which is 1, 0. Now remember, R is the position vector from your point of interest, which in this case is A, to the point of application of B, of the force, which is B. So this is my vector R, where I've got some force up here, F. I notice that R is going to be minus 3i plus 3j from the position vector, or from counting it. You're going to go over to the left 3 and up 3. That gives you a 45 degree angle for this position vector to the horizontal. That's useful because if you draw the line of action for F, for R, you know that it's 45 degrees also to the vertical. And then if you want to find the angle between your line of action of R and your line of action of F, we know that F is 20 degrees from vertical as well. So theta, the angle between the two lines of action, has got to be 65 degrees. Now remember, one of the ways we can find a moment is if you take the vector r, which goes from a to b, and break f into components so that you have some perpendicular component and some parallel component, we know that the parallel component, which in this case would be f cosine 65, is not going to create a moment at a. Now, the perpendicular component certainly will. That's F sine 65. We know that that creates the moment because R becomes the perpendicular between the line of action of F perp and the point we're interested in in A. So the moment at A is going to be equal to F perp times R, which in this case is 27 sine 65 times the magnitude of R, which is 3 squared plus 3 squared, or 103.82. Don't forget to answer the question. Your moment at A is, in vector form, 104 foot-pounds clockwise. It has to have a direction, it has to have three sig figs and units.